Discourse is a popular open source software for creating forums and communities. A number of Linux distributions like Manjaro, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate are using it. Even some software services companies like Cloudflare use it to provide customer support through the community forum. You can pay to the developer of Discourse for a hosted service from them, but it costs $100 per month. That's the starting price. And that's not affordable by everyone. This is why I'm going to show you how to host a Discourse community forum on your own domain and using a cloud service provider called DigitalOcean. Why DigitalOcean? Because DigitalOcean has this one-click configuration which allows you to deploy a Linux server in a virtual machine under a few minutes pre-configured to run a specific service like WordPress or Discourse or something else. This is really easy to use and you can have your Discourse server running in few minutes. Let's see how to do that. You should create an account with DigitalOcean if you don't have one already. You can use our link and get at least $10 in credits for free. Log into DigitalOcean and then create a droplet. A droplet is basically a Linux server running in virtual machine. Go to Marketplace and you can choose a service to be pre-configured with your Linux server. We'll be choosing Discourse. The minimum should be $10 per month because that Discourse needs at least 2 GB of RAM on your server. You can choose your data center and additional block storage if you want. That's up to you. You can also add your SSH key if you have it configured. You can change the host name if you want or leave it as it is and then just hit create. It should take around one minute or even less than that and you should have your Linux server pre-configured with this course deployed but no everything is not ready yet because we have to do some SMTP settings and we have to change some DNS settings so that you will have a fully functional discourse forum running our server is created now let's see the SMTP service For SMTP, I recommend Mailgun. It gives you 10,000 emails free every month. So you can see 10,000 emails with no cost. It's easy to set up as well. You can choose any other SMTP service. It's really up to you. So just create an account with Mailgun and then go to domains. And in domains, you should add a new domain. I'll be using Linux handbook, but not the main domain, but a subdomain called forum.linuxhandbook.com you can use a fresh new domain if you want or a subdomain of your existing domain it's uh, up to you so i have added this domain to mailgun and it will give you some dns records which you need to change in your dns server provider so i use namecheap if you go to the advanced dns settings you need to add these dns records in here so the txt record Note that if you use using at the rate in host, you should not use the full domain name, just forum instead of forum.linuxhandbook.com. So just add that those text record and then another TXT record. The same trick here. Don't use the actual domain name if you are using a subdomain. Copy this. and paste it here I'm setting it to one minute but I don't really know if it's effective or not but you can leave it automatic we need to add an A record as well because we need to specify that the forum.linuxhandbook.com is actually residing on this IP address the server which we created before so the DNS should know that, okay, this subdomain is at this IP address. So when those records are set, now it's time to add those MX record as well. So again, just copy the, the values and add here forum, not forum.linuxhandbook.com because it's a subdomain. 
and add them you can repeat the same for mxb the second mx record it's almost the same just the b instead of a and then 10 and one minute so we have added all the records which we needed here now it's time to verify whether these dns changes have been taken into account or not go to mailgun and click on verify it could take a few minutes or it could take some hours dns could be really tricky so in my case it has been verified but if you don't see it right away you should log out and then log in again and then you should see the domain and if your domain has been verified you should receive an email on the account associated with mailgun so now go to this domain you have added and then go to domain settings you will find some smtp credentials here this is what we are going to use for the forum so i suggest creating a new smtp user because postmaster user has the same password as your mailgun account and since discourse saves this in clear text it's better that you don't use same password as your mailgun account in discourse why are we using smtp service why is it important because you need to send emails for user creation and confirmation so when you create an account with DigitalOcean, when you create a server with DigitalOcean, they will send you some details like IP address, username and password. You have to use the same and then use SSH to log into your server. And then you will have to use the password. The password is in the email or if you used SSH, you should have been able to use it. So enter this password and you will be asked to change the password on the first login so enter the existing password which was sent to you and then create a new password enter it again and now it will ask you whether you want to go ahead with the configuration of this course installation it will ask you to be ready with some of the some of the details we have already gathered these information earlier in in the smtp stuff so we have all the information ready let's go with the this course configuration first thing it needs to create a swap file so just wait for five seconds so that it creates the swap file okay now it will ask the host name in my case it is forum.linuxhandbook.com if you are using a subdomain provide that or if you are using a full domain provide that it will ask the email address for the admin account of the forum you can give your personal email address or whatever you want so that all the admin activities will be maintained from this it will ask for smtp server address do you remember what it was you can go and check in the mailgun account so smtp.mailgun.org is the smtp address just copy paste it there and then the smtp port 587 is fine and the username if you created the new smtp user use that so admin at the rate of forum.linuxhandbook.com in my example and the password the password is here so just copy paste it you can see that it will be displayed and it will be stored in the yml file in clear text this is why i asked to avoid it this one the optional email address is actually very important this will set an SSL certificate for you for free. That means your forum will have HTTPS enabled by default. That's super important. So it will ask you to verify all details. I insist on providing an email address for Let's Encrypt so that you will have the SSL installed and your forum will have HTTPS protocol enabled by default so that you won't have to do it later. It will build the discourse installation. It could take like three to four minutes, something like that. So be patient with it. If your discourse installation is successful, you should see a message like 
This course is now installed. Log into your admin account in a browser to continue configure this course. We are almost there with the this course installation. Now it's time to actually verify whether your this course has been installed properly or not. So just type the URL of the forum which you created in my case forum.linuxhandbook.com and it says okay congratulations I have the this course installed but it's not verified yet you have to check if the SMTP settings are fine so for that create a new user with the password and then click on register it will send you an activation email if you receive this activation email this means your installation went fine in my case you can see that I have received this email and if I click here it will say okay welcome to this course if you don't receive the email check your spam box or wait for some time or check the logs in mailgun to see if the email was bounced or not because the SMTP settings is important you need to receive emails in order to use your discourse forum and if you receive this in this email at the activation email the rest of the process is easy you can just add a few things like you can provide name of your forum introduction and other stuff to set it up I guess you can do it when you do it everything is set up you should see screen like this so when you go to your forum it should look like this with the default theme that's it i hope you were able to install the discourse with digital ocean one click installation uh, if you have any questions or if you're facing any issues please let me know in the comment section and if you find this video interesting don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe see you next time bye bye